Um, we ready? Uh, first of all, you know, when I started scouting this team, I walked away and I saw the first half of the Kentucky game and I said, oh my God, why did we schedule this team? I saw a team that fought. I saw a team that was together. I saw a team that's not afraid, that plays with great energy. And as the more I watched them, even though they've lost some games, I could tell they were a fighting group. Then I started doing homework and finding out they got guys that have been in college four, five, and six years. I'm only saying that to say that's a good team we just played, but we have to understand as a unit how fragile winning is. Um, I'm proud of the guys. I'm proud of the way they fought through. I'm proud of the way they finished the game from the free throw line after missing 13 free throws. Um, I'm proud of the fact that we won the game by attacking the lane. Um, I had multiple guys. One guy drew, th drew 13 fouls, another one drew nine, another one drew eight, another one drew six. That means we are attacking with multiple players. Um, again, it's about those guys in the locker room. They did a great job of fighting through even though they weren't perfect. I would have liked for us to be a lot better defensively. The team shot 58% from the field. You're not going to beat many teams. And we got sort of lucky today. The big fellow missed two free throws, which allowed us hope to take it to overtime. Questions? Yeah, Kenny, you focused on uh, the team uh, finishing, but I was just wondering after you had, you know, a two, two a really strong showings um, in New York, just just uh, what happened there in the first half, and you know, um, how did the team come out flat again after, you know, a showing progress in New York? Great question. Um, you know, when we left New York, you know, the buzz around the country that I was getting was that you guys have gotten better, you guys are fighting, you guys are playing with energy, and then we come out, and I told them like. Guys, you can't overlook anybody. You have to fight. You've got to play with great energy. You've got to play together. You've got to understand that um, what you did in New York, even though you didn't win, people know that you were getting better. Um, I wish I can explain it. I, I, I think a lot of it, I hate to say it, sort of starts with Brandon. Um, Brandon has to give us more. Um, and that's why I'm sort of hard on the way I coach him because I know how important he is to this team. And the fact that, you know, at times he's, he plays with a casualness instead of a viciousness uh, bothers me. Uh, but he's a good player, and he wants to do the right things, and, and we're not giving up on him. We're going to keep pushing him to be better. Kenny, when uh, Trey came down and hit the three-pointer that basically sent it into overtime, you had called the timeout. What would you tell him then? Is that kind of what you wanted you had to have well I, I thought they would have guarded um trey as well but what happened was when he brought the ball up when he caught the ball in the backcourt and brought it up the big guy one of the big guys i don't know who it was sort of went to the lane which gave him a wide open look um listen in this game players got to make plays man so i can draw up something but when a situation arises trey white saw it took advantage of it focused, shot a three-pointer after missing some, um, held his follow-through. You know, I'm big on every shot that you shoot every day before you shoot it, it's a game winner. Every practice, every time you touch a ball, it's a game winner. Well, he executed his jump shot, and it was a hell of a shot. Kenny, can you talk about the difference your team is when Tyler is out there and kind of doing what he was doing in the second half as far as getting into the lane, and but then also defensively, the energy he brings? He's a he's an energy bunny. Um, I love when he plays with discipline to match his energy um, because he makes our team a lot better. We're hard to guard when we have a Mike James, a Trey White, uh, Tyler and Sky on the court at times together because all those guys can can drive the ball, can shoot the ball, and can get in the lane um, and pass the ball. So he's, he's a little bit of the X factor for us as a team. Um, he's getting better. Uh, he still has moments where he looks at it like it's high school um, and gets emotional, but 
for for where he started to where he is and not being here in the summer and all the stuff that he went through uh, to get here, to get eligible. He's made tremendous strides. I'm proud of him. Um, and the best is yet to come. Kenny, you're down eight, I think, with a minute 18 to go. What were you thinking at that time, and what did you tell your guys? Keep fighting. Keep fighting. You'll get a break if you keep fighting. Um, you, you hadn't played well all game. Something's going to turn. You just got to be ready for it to turn. And when it does, seize it, grab it, and don't let it go. I thought they did a good job of that. Something turned. Like I said, the guy missed the free throws, uh, two free throws. We come down, we make a three, I mean, <laughs> um, which gave us overtime, which we were pretty good in overtime. Yeah, can you going back to Ty Lore for a second uh, here in the back? Actually, right here. Sorry, uh, playing him and Sky together. Do you like that moving forward? And, and if you do, what needs to keep getting better for them to be on the floor together? Um, I like it. I just worry about if one of them gets in foul trouble. What does that do to our dynamics of our team? Um, you know, they are very good together. They have great chemistry. You know, Sky is really good at off the balls at, at times. Uh, Tyler is is as well. Um, if we move the ball, it comes back to their hands, and then they can attack. Um, when you have two guys that are fast and crafty like they are, good ball handlers, it's hard to guard. Um, and as they get more familiar, look, we're six games in, um, and we're only getting better. Hey. Well, I'm curious about the, the status of Karan Davis. It's been a few while since we've seen him on the bench. Is there a short-term, long-term plan on getting him back on the roster or plan back on the bench? for Karan is, is me and Karan got to sit down and talk about what's best for him and what's best for us. It's my decision. Uh, really no real update. Um, that's it. Kenny, this has been a couple of uh, – Mike hasn't scored much these last three games, but uh, today he finished at plus 15. Um, just um, how does he add stuff to the team I mean, ways when he's not scoring the ball? So plus 15, 0 for 7, 0 for 3, 5 for 8 from free throw line, 8 rebounds. I mean, his, the way he plays, the toughness that he plays with, um, it calms our team. We're a better team when he's just on the floor. So he's invaluable to us. And, and the numbers don't, and this is where I debate with analytics, the numbers can't put a value on a guy like Mike James. You guys lost several games like this last year. What can a game like this do for the confidence or uh, you know swagger for, for, for your team? I think it's very important. Um, you know, I, I wish I could say that we played great, uh, but we didn't. We played actually poorly, and we came out and got a win. Um, a year ago, I don't know, that could have easily been a loss or a 15-point loss, to be honest with you. Um, I got good players that are only getting better, and they're young. Uh, I think sometimes that gets overlooked. You look at a Sky Clark, you look at him and you say he's a sophomore. He played 9, 10, 11 games last year at Illinois. Uh, you look at Trey White, he was a freshman in, the S in USC in the, in the uh, Pac-12. Um, my guys are young, and they're learning about each other, and they're learning winning basketball. Um, the, the, the thing that I walk away with the most, more than anything else, is that they're high-character kids that are trying. They're really trying, and they want to win, and they want to do well. They want this community to know that they care about winning, and, and they're not just doing it for themselves. They're doing it for Louisville. Kenny, uh, Dennis started this game, only played three minutes. Uh, just what was your reasoning behind that, and where does he have to grow to see the floor more? I just think Dennis has to get stronger. Um, you know, he makes some mistakes out there to start the game. Um, listen, Dennis is learning. I mean, you look at the guy that, that played five for them, big, strong. How many years did he play in college? Six, five? Five years in college. Dennis is a baby. Uh, that guy's 
250, 60 pounds. Dennis may be a 210 pounds. I don't know. He's got to continue to learn the pace of the game, the physicality of the game, um, the movements of the game. And in, in, in no shape, form, or fashion have we um, gotten down on Dennis. Dennis is going to help us. In order for us to be the team that we need to be, Dennis Evans needs to be bringing it. He needs to be on the court more, uh, but he also needs to digest what he's seeing on the court and digest how do I help this team, um, which I'm more than happy to, to, to see him grow. I just got to get out of games with wins, if that makes sense. I noticed Hersey Miller wasn't on the bench as well. What what can you say about him? Um, Hersey had a medical um, thing that he did that he's getting consulted on. Um, hopefully he'll be back with us soon, um, but he had to take care of that. All right, guys.